What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you a full lower body routine which you can do using only a barbell and a couple of plates either side. This episode is following on from a previous video where I was in Austria with very limited equipment available to me, only a couple of barbells, dumbbells and some plates. In that video I walked you through a full upper body routine which you can do. In this one I'm going to take you through a full lower body routine which you can do with no machines, no equipment, literally just a barbell. So first things first, whatever you do in a leg routine, obviously you want to warm yourself up adequately. In this situation, I was going straight into squats, so I fully loaded the bar, made sure that I carefully pulled the bar up and placed it on my back, and I got myself into position. Due to the mechanics of my squat and the fact that the weight was quite low, I wanted to place as much tension as possible on the quads, so I was elevating my heels as I did this. I used a mat, I think I used two mats and some plates to get my heels at least one inch above the ground. So as you can see when I'm doing these squats, it's allowing me to keep my spine upright, allowing more bend to occur in the knee so that more tension is placed in the quads. And what I'm doing here to make it a little bit more intense, I'm really slowing down the tempo. So from the top to the bottom, it's taking me three seconds. And as I'm coming back to the top, there's very minimal rest. I'm not locking my legs out. I'm almost trying to squeeze the contraction at the top so that throughout the entire set, I'm maintaining tension on the quads. Once this is done, we're gonna safely take the bar off our backs and place it out in front of us and get ourselves into the correct position to perform a Romanian deadlift. Now with this exercise, we're gonna be working our hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Now as my spine is quite upright when I was doing those squats, my lower back isn't that fatigued, which is good because I'm gonna actually require quite a bit of lower back engagement in order to perform this movement properly. You wanna have the intention of pushing your hips back, having a slight bend of the knee at the bottom of the movement, and once your hamstrings are fully under tension, you're gonna thrust forwards. Next exercise I went on to was a notorious Bulgarian split squat. If you have done these properly before, you'll know how nasty they are. So with this, you need to place your back foot on some kind of a platform so it's elevated. In this example, I used a bench. Ensure that as you go down, you don't lean back too much on that rear foot. Okay, we want to try and place tension on that front leg. And also, you want to make sure that you don't drive your knee too far out in front of you so that your heel comes off the ground. You want to keep that front foot flat on the ground at all times. And just to make things a little bit more nasty, I'm gonna make sure that I don't lock out at the top of the movement. There should be very minimal rest at the top. As soon as you come up to the top of the movement, you're going back down again. I'd recommend you have 20 to 30 seconds rest in between each leg before you go on to the next one. And then you're just gonna repeat again. So instead of having a longer rest period after doing one leg after the other, I would recommend doing one leg, 30 seconds rest, the other leg, 30 seconds rest, and so on, until you've done three to four sets. If you want to make things even more nasty, on the last set, I recommend taking the weight off and then doing a drop set until you literally cannot do any more reps, but that's completely up to you and how hard you want to go for it. So the next super set I did was probably the hardest one I did out of this routine. This was actually really challenging, even though the weight wasn't that heavy. It involved front squats and walking lunges. So to start off with, I made sure that the bar was in a suitable position and once again, for me, I elevated my heels to allow me to get proper depth and to ensure my spine was upright. So once you're in a suitable position, again, because the weight is not as heavy as I would usually go for, I'm using a slow tempo, so it's taking me three seconds to go from the top to the bottom. Due to the fact that the bar is now in front of me, resting on my upper chest and not behind me, it's actually a lot easier to keep your spine upright. So as I was doing this, I was finding I could actually get more depth on the squat, which allows for a greater range of motion and also allows me to keep more tension on the quad. Now, once you come to the end of the set, you need to make the smooth transition from the front squat position to the back squat position so that we can do walking lunges. Now, I was pretty fatigued at this point, so when I was moving the barbell towards my back and pushing it over my head, I was pretty knackered and I ended up actually banging it on my head as I brought it back down. So just make sure that you don't do that, otherwise you will hurt yourself. So once that smooth transition was made, it was onto the walking lunges. Obviously the size of the studio or gym or wherever you're at is gonna dictate how far you can walk in this 
situation. I was actually able to walk quite far and do about seven reps one way, and then I would do seven reps back. So that would be 14 reps in total, which was actually pretty suitable because on the last few reps, I was really struggling. When you're performing these reps, ensure that your front foot stays flat on the ground at all times. You don't want to let that heel come off the ground at any time. If you were doing these lunges and you wanted to hit more of your glutes, I would suggest leaning forwards as you go into the lunge. So it's completely up to you and what area of the leg you're trying to target. The final superset I did was a combination of good mornings and static barbell lunges. So with the good mornings, what you want to do is place the barbell resting on your traps. And since the weight, again, relatively light for me, I'm going to go for a higher rep range. So the focus here is going to be on the glutes, hamstrings, and the lower back. Since there's minimal tension at the top of the movement, I don't really want to spend much time there, nor do I want to fully extend. So I just want to spend more time in the lengthened position at the bottom two thirds of the rep. Once you perform the desired number of reps, which for me was around 15, I'd go into the static lunges. So again, with this one, you want to ensure that you don't place too much of your weight on that back leg. We're really trying to drive off with that front leg. And in this situation, since I want it to be more quad dominant, the distance apart from my front and back leg isn't that far. So it allows me to get more of a knee bend. If I was placing one foot far out in front of the other, it would be a lot more glute and hamstring dominant. In this routine, I had about 15 seconds rest after performing all the reps on one leg before I went into the other leg. I usually tend to do this because one of the legs is so burnt out that if I go straight into the other one, the reps end up becoming pretty shitty. Keep in mind when you're doing this, you want the movement to be slow and controlled. You notice how I'm not locking out, I'm maintaining tension on the legs and I'm going down slowly. I'm not banging my right leg onto the ground. I'm just coming to the point where it's literally a couple centimeters above the floor. So I'm trying to go for a full range of motion here. Once I've done that full set, I rested for about 60 seconds before going into it once again. If you want to see the full routine, it's in the description below with the tempo explained as well. This was a pretty nasty routine, I'm not going to lie. I think it was just because I wasn't used to doing so much work in a short period of time with little rest. Okay, I was out of breath. This is like a cardio session as well as a weight session, so decent. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all my social media pages. I have more videos coming soon.